All right, guys, welcome to another episode. If I'm speaking loudly, it's because there's wind. I was worried you couldn't hear me. Today we are running limb lines. I have 15 of them set up with glow sticks. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is how I rig my limb lines. It is not the best way, but it is the best way for where I'm located. Most people use flimsy branches. I use thick branches because I do not abandon them, I stay with them. What we do is put 15 or 20 usually in a circle. This lake is nothing but willow trees. And we stay there with the limb lines at the car and we leave and come back the next day like most people. We do the glow sticks because when one of them has a fish, it starts swinging and splashing where we know right away. So that is why I do not use the flimsy branches because I do not ever give that fish long enough to twist the line up or break a branch. Guys, I'm gonna show you how I do my limb lines. The first thing I do is I tie orange marker tape to the branches that I put my limb lines on. I do this so I can see my limb line during the day or in case the glow stick ever goes out because it shows up real easy being bright orange. I then, and I make them pretty long so you can't mistake their mine. I then use what you call trot twine or limb line, whatever you wanna call it. I, get the, I buy the thickest that I can possibly get away with but that still fits through the eyes of the hooks. When you buy this limb line, you have to make check the size of the eyes of your hooks to make sure it's gonna be able to go through it. If it doesn't, what you wanna do is use a swivel on the end and get some very large swivels, snap swivels, and you can get away with using a bigger line then uh, to ensure the fish will not break off. I then tie a glow stick on halfway to usually about halfway down the limb line and I put it in there but I do not crack it until dark on the bottom I like look at this someone stole my damn hooks I then put a uh, snap swivel on the bottom this prevents the catfish from spinning the line a lot and allows me to use hooks that have a smaller eye if possible. And I like mine to barely hang in the water when I'm using live bait or about a foot down when I'm using cut bait. That's all there is to it guys. I'm going to go ahead and put a hook on this one since someone stole my hook. Well, I need to check the one behind us then. Oh God, here we go. I forgot my pole sticking up like that too. Now we gotta check them all then. Well, I need to check the one behind us. And if I'm doing this, I need to go dump the poles off because they're gonna get in the way. All right guys, every time I come here, I always, enjoy recording these trains that drive by. It's actually a very busy train track too. It, it's out in the middle of nowhere, but it has a, a lot of traffic on it. At least two or three every time we're here. In the middle of the night too. Even on a holiday or whatever, they seem to always go. Now see, that's not even a foot deep. See the wood sticking up in the middle. It's shallower than last time. You're gonna catch your fish out here. That's why I wanted to, I really wanted to be back because the wind's going diagonal. So we're forced to fish. We need it to where we should have went over a little bit where we can both fish that way. Where our barbers would stay still longer.
because I got something nice. Show me. You sh Record me. You, you stole my fish. It's either a channel cat or a buffalo. You stole my fish. What is it? I didn't see it. I think it's a channel cat. Get away from that anchor rope, buddy. Oh my god. Big, big head. Never mind, get me the dip net. Mm, 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 mm. Record me. You're a horrible thing. Well, you said keep I me know, a neat. But before how that to, I'm sure you're moving all over. How the place. to how to hold that camera and the deep. Alright guys, this is a nice channel cat. They were not biting today at all until right at dark. I think that's what this was the whole time. Not buffalo. Oh my god. It's seven or eight. You got a big, big piece. That's a fish is biting mine. Yeah. It's crazy. It's about a, I'm gonna say he's six pounds. Pretty nice channel cat. Think if it's a female, it looks like a female to me. Not a bad channel cat, guys. Mm -mm. Good. Nice catch. What a fight, guys. Whew. Nice one. Okay. Well, Wilma's on her first fish with a bobber and worm. I think it's a netter. Oh, yeah. It might be a bass. Let him tire down. Just play him, play him. Don't reel in anymore and just let him wear down. You're gonna reel too much line up. Just let him get tired. It's a smaller female catfish. Don't reel in anymore. Just let it wear down like you're doing. Don't reel in anymore, I said. You don't listen. You're lucky it's only one pound. Just a little one pound female. All right, guys. Well, all right, guys, about a pound and a half. See, they're picking up, which shows we, if we caught two, we'll probably catch something on limb lines. Smaller female, I believe. It's a little two pounder, one pounder. Yeah, little female. Splashing the camera, ain't you? It's a little bigger than yours, not much. Nah, about the same, isn't it? Look, she's full of eggs. See, they haven't even spawned yet. That's why the males are not, we're not catching a lot of those big, black, poofy lip males. Because they haven't even spawned because of the temperature. They're getting ready to, though, any day, I can tell you that. She's still got her eggs, guys. That is a beautiful channel, though. Still got her spots. About to lose them because of her size, right at two pounds, 
perfect eating size. But her belly definitely 100% has eggs in it. That is definitely a pregnant channel cat. Alright guys, we have 14 limb lines out. You can see the little green dots in front of me. That is the limb lines. The bright green you see below each one is it just a reflection off the water. We have nine on this side of the lake and five on the other side of the lake. We already have a fish on one line. Before we only... We had a fish on one of the lines before we even had the fifth one made up or baited up. So we're going to go check it. It's still swinging over here. We got bullheads, live bullheads on two of them. Two giant bluegill, just the heads on two of them. So those four will have the best chance at a flathead or a bigger fish. All the rest is dead bait, unfortunately. So we'll probably just get channel cats, but that's fine by me. It's better than nothing. Really like to get a flathead though, but uh, it's just hard to keep this bait alive. And we're gonna go check. Oh my gosh. That's a big five pound. Shine the flashlight on it so I can record. He stay on. Oh my God, guys. Look at this bass, five pounder on a limb line. Oh my gosh. Once again. And they're hooked themselves. He's five pounds. Oh my gosh. All right, here. Guys, five pound. Sh shine the light right here on my ribs, remember? Guys, five pound largemouth. Almost six pounds on a limb line with a dead sunfish, completely dead. Strange. Yeah, I'll keep him, man. It's a big one. And we're going to have to rebate this. Yeah. Um, let me kind of pull off to the side because or else that hook's going to go in you. Actually, let me make sure I'm showing up. Let me sit down, then you shine sit that down. flashlight right at my chest okay. plate, right here. Okay. Are you zoomed? No, it's not zoom. You may have to. <laughs> that is one hell of a bass for a limb line. God. There's some giant bass in here. Show it up. I need to show your pace. Okay. Showing up good? Okay, that one. Uh. My gosh. Mm. <laughs> That's a giant. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Limb line's going off. It's going to be hard to choose which one. We got, let's see which ones are, okay, they're both still on there. We got two going off at the same time, guys. I think the one on the left's worth going to get more because it's being louder. Because that's probably a flathead. That's just a bass, most likely. I think this one's worth going to get right now. It's swinging a lot more, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bigger fish over here. All right, guys, we got one on each side of the lake going off. Uh, I, what I'm doing is I chose the one that looks the biggest. I mean, that can be deceiving, sure, but I can tell this is definitely not a bass. This is a catfish, 100%. Go ahead and start. Yep. It's about three. Shine the table. Mm. 
Boy, he really wasn't hooked that good, to be honest. Oh, yeah, he is. He's hooked really well, right in the corner of the mouth. That's why I got the regular pliers out, not needle nose. Oh, that's the catfish. Catfish head. Is it? Yeah. No, it's a sunfish. It's got a real tiny mouth. It was a dead, dead sunfish. All right, guys, we got... Hey, he's about three pounds. Three pound channel cat. Yeah, I heard one. Uh, oh my God. Let's wait. Guys, this is a big, this is a big old channel cat and it's a big male. This is what I've been after right here. Oh, here. You may have to zoom. Oh God. That's a big old bullheaded male, guys. Exactly what I'm after. You may have to shine that light. Is it showing up good? Yeah. Now that's what we came for. Big old male. Put it down the fish. About down seven like or eight it. pounds. He's biting my thumb bad. Not on my head, remember it won't show up good. At my chest plate, it's lower than you think. Okay. Like you aim the light right up my butt and on my no, shirt. No, I see your piece now. Don't put it up, down. Because the shadow. What a channel, guys. We finally got the fish we've been after. Whew. What a hoss. <sighs> Okay. Well guys, two false alarms. We'll turn back on once something real happens again. I have a feeling it will. It's not going to stop tonight with that full moon. Beautiful moon. Yeah, it ain't pulling like a catfish. No. Yeah. Another? He's three and a half. All right, guys, a three and a half pound bass God. on a limb line once again. My gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. Oh. Oh. Good God, fish. He's aggressive, real aggressive. definitely wasn't alive strange this ain't near as big as the first one but he's he's a full three pounds showing up good you need don't, to zoom don't oh, careful the limb lines hooked on something Son. you sure you don't need to zoom The shadow on the fish is in your face and Okay. Shadow again. Put it down a little bit. That one. I the foggy see. Well guys, that ends this episode. I've been recording for 15 minutes and forgot to turn it off. The best action was from 10 to 11. It lasted till 12. And it just went downhill from there. 
never really picked up again of course our bait was all non-fresh at that point just old bait that had been setting too long and sometimes them fish want it really fresh i'm sure that would have made a difference or if it would have been alive would have been great but uh we still had fun we got uh five catfish two of them being really big and two nice bass so not a bad day it's nice out here that full moon like that all in all, a pretty good day. Can't wait to do it again. We we'll probably won't do this till Labor Day. So stay tuned, you'll get to see it on Labor Day. Here's both the bass from the limb lines. Five and a three. Really, that one big one's really plain already. This one's still got color. Mm -hmm. Am I showing up good about the right distance? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to do the catfish. This one. This is the big one. Oh my god, it looks like a bloodhead. <sighs> They're both males, the biggest ones. The females are always smaller. <sighs> All right, guys, a six and a ten. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That one is really giant. Look at that muscular head. 